welcome back to Neighborhood Journal. In our next story, youth producers are expressing themselves over the airwaves. Media made for kids by kids. And producer Jim Frenny shares with you a unique program that fosters creativity and keeps kids productive, literally. The Children's Media Project is a nonprofit arts organization that focuses on engaging youth with the media arts. That's radio, video, graphic design, and other technology based arts. It does this through in school residency programs, satellite programs across the Hudson Valley, and after school programs at their main space on Academy Street in the city of Poughkeepsie. We teach media literacy, so we teach not only how to produce media, but how to understand media. So you can be an active viewer and not necessarily just a consumer of media. It's really a place after school that they can go that's not affiliated with the school. So they're there all day, they've been there for eight hours and they don't want to stay there after school so they can come to the Children's Media Project and still learn and still be a part of something but in a different um, venue. And after school, while kids are playing video games and watching TV, participants in the Children's Media Project are actually creating it. Every week we produce an hour-long radio show that's fully youth produced and it's called Radio Uprising. Breaking the barriers between youth and civilization on 91.3 FM WVKR Independent Radio Poughkeepsie. The youth produced a radio show that gets to the bottom of issues that matter to youth today. The focus is on teaching the technical aspects of pre-production, production and post-production in the video and audio arts. These skills include concept development, script writing, equipment and software operation, editing and music composition. Basically I had to figure out how to use an editing program, how to use a recording program, how to adjust my voice well, how to make sure I didn't like mess up recording it so I didn't like, because you had to push the button twice and like I messed up half my recording because I pushed it once. Every week we choose a different theme um, depending on what we're interested in. Radio Uprising gives youth the opportunity to engage in politics, social action, and become more involved in their community via independent and grassroots media production. It can be anything as seemingly fun and silly as our favorite cartoons and TV shows to something um, more, like, more personal, a little deeper, like body image, which we did this week. The youth must share their pieces with their mentors and revise multiple times to practice articulating the content. And they explore that theme with journalistic audio pieces, with narrative pieces, with documentary pieces. They do word on the street, they do creative writing, they build music or they critique music that's related to the theme. There's a structure that goes with the show. And once they learn the structure, they can pretty much run it themselves. What is your favorite store to go shopping in? I, uh, I don't really have a favorite store. I mean, but if you go to like Salvation Army, you can actually find like amazing stuff there. It's, it's like got an insane. awesome skirt there for like two dollars. Once you have something down, you're not giving it some half-hearted effort just to make a grade. You're actually thinking what you want to think, and maybe not exactly just to make a, just for other people to hear, but basically something that you're satisfied with saying. And they actually get to broadcast in a real radio station in a real time slot. Welcome back, to radio listeners, to this week's edition of Radio Uprising on 91.3 WVKR FM Independent Radio Poughkeepsie. The program's mission is to, to get out there with a youth voice and to have a new perspective on some things that we, um, as adults, kind of hear all the time from an adult perspective. It's Youth explore the media as a public platform for community dialogue, giving them a chance to break the barriers between youth and civilization while reclaiming the power of the media. When you turn on the radio, you hear adults talking about usually pretty boring things. I haven't really thought about radio as a career, but it's, no, I mean, I haven't really thought about it as anything as a career. I don't have any other friends who have like a radio show. That's like something really, really cool. Even if I don't do radio per se, it'll help me a lot with my speaking and something along those lines of being able to talk to others and express my thoughts well. If you think about it, anyone could be listening to what you're saying, but it's not as scary as speaking in front of like 100 people. <laughs> Today's show was produced during our Radio Lab sessions at Children's Media Project and recorded in part with the students of Drop TV. To find out more on Children's Media Project, visit their interactive website. And in our next episode of Neighborhood Journal, we revisit the Children's Media Project and explore their award-winning television program, Drop TV, made for kids by kids, starting January 9th. Now remember, this show is about you and your community.
If you have a comment, question, or a story idea, we want to hear from you. Contact our viewer exchange at viewerex at cablevision.com.